Hi, I'm Mark Gaylor. I'd like to show you around the high key action that I've created for Photoshop and Photoshop Elements. OK, what we have here is the Actions panel. And I've shown you the ESP high key actions that I've just created and are available on the markgaylor.com website. We have the high key and the high key smooth. And all I need to do to play this action to this image is click on the play action button. And then within a matter of a second or two, we have that beautiful high key look. Now I'll just uh, show you around the, uh, how the action was created. I have a high key folder which includes a curves adjustment layer. This will be a, a levels adjustment layer for Adobe Photoshop Elements users. Now we have the uh, uh, um, quite a drastic curve, but it's also setting out to protect and preserve um, some of the bright highlight detail. So I'm not actually clipping the highlights, I'm actually just making the midtones and highlights very bright in this image. This alone isn't enough to create the high key look. We also have to do some advanced blending. Okay, and the advanced blending uses the, uh, the this layer. Um, um, a grey ramp here and what I'm doing is I'm preserving the deeper shadow tones within the image but um, rendering the, uh, the, the mid-tones uh, and um, highlights much brighter using these advanced blending techniques. Okay and then the, uh, um, the action then moves into a hue saturation adjustment. Now it's lowering the saturation of most of the colors except for red so we're getting a little bit of the lipstick and the, the flesh or skin colors are showing up quite nicely in this, um, in this action. And then we move through to the smooth um, part of the action. Now this uh, smooth is available um, in one of the actions or we can um, remove it in the other. Okay, and if I just click on and off the smooth, you can see here's the high key by itself, and there's the smoothing effect, giving us these nice smooth tones. Okay, there's been no skin retouching in this project. All of these uh, smooth uh, skin tones are coming directly from the action itself. And the smoothing is, is a, a mixture of using a Gaussian blur layer with a couple of clipped layers in blend modes. And this also sets out to preserve um, shadow detail and, uh, and preserve that uh, high key look um, to this effect. OK, now this um, effect isn't uh, just uh, uh, usable for uh, portraits, this also can be used in landscape images as well. Before I show you uh, playing the action to some landscapes, I just want to show you how I build my actions. I always have um, uh, uh, the first step of the action is to create a snapshot. So that if you don't uh, think that the action is applicable to this particular image that you're working on, you always have the option then of clicking on the snapshot and going back to the point in time before you're playing that action. Just cycling down to the blending options there will put the action back into place. OK, so let's take a look at uh, another portrait. OK, and I'll also play the action to this one. And again, very high key um, skin tones here, but with some of the beautiful uh, detail in the deep shadows still left in place. And again, this one has used the smooth, so I can click on and off the smooth to show you the high key by itself or with the smooth. If you're not uh, wanting to use the, the smoothing part of the process, then we do have this alternate high key without the smooth to play there. Or you can simply just play the smooth and then uh, drop the opacity of the smoothing action uh, to suit the image that you're working on, like so. OK, let's take a look at uh, playing the action now on another couple of uh, landscape images. Here we've got one at uh, Luna Park and uh, I'll just collapse this uh, while we play the action and again I'll try the high key smooth and then click on the play action button and again what we're seeing is most of the midtones are made, being made very bright we're hanging onto the fine detail in the highlights but we still get that rich shadow tones and the, uh, the, the red is now acting as a key color that is really quite vibrant but all of the rest of the colors are quite subdued in this particular, particular action and uh, play it onto another image, uh, just clicking on that uh, play action button and again coming in. And we can see the, uh, the autumn leaves on the side of this house now are really spiking against those uh, bright tones in the background. And uh, one final image, we're playing this on uh, our Brooklyn Bridge and again just play the high key smooth onto that. And again getting that nice high key look but with rich shadow detail. And remember, any time you want to go backwards, we just simply go to the History panel 
and then cycle up and click on that snapshot which was the before the action was played. Okay, if you wanted to download this action go to markgaylor.com and you'll find an action there available for Photoshop users and also an alternative version for Photoshop Elements users.